will be visiting Thailand. Um, and the dish that we will be preparing is a coconut uh, milk soup with tofu, or um, chicken can be used as well. And to say that in Thai, it's Kwai Tao Tom Ka Gai. So why don't we take a look at the ingredients. First, we have tofu, rice noodles, we'll be using water, coconut milk, ginger, stalks of lemongrass, shallots, small green chilies, fish sauce, sugar, and lime juice. of making this delicious Thai dish. First, to start, um, the rice noodles need to be soaked in water for um, 25 minutes. So that's what I did in a pot on the stove, just cold water, and then you need to bring a liter of water to a boil and dunk these for two to three seconds, literally. Um, take them right off and set them aside in a bowl till um, we use them later. Then. We prepare um, what's going into the pan. So I am going to be using this uh, more of a stir fry pan. Uh, and first, we will be using the coconut milk uh, that we will bring to a boil, and we'll add the tofu, or if you prefer chicken, you can do that as well. Then what you want to do is, is stir everything up and cook it until the chicken or the tofu is cooked about halfway. Then uh, you're going to stir in water, the fish sauce, sugar, lime juice, and if you want to add some soy sauce or maybe some other spices that you might think that might um, complement that dish, you can go right ahead. Then, uh, after that's pretty mixed and you want to bring it nice heat, you want to add all the, the herbs that we talked about. So, you know, these chilies, the shallots, the ginger, the lemongrass, and the lime juice will go in. Then, uh, once that all comes to a nice boil and it smells fabulous, we will take the noodles and heat them up just a little bit more, and then we'll take what we made in the stir-fry pan, pour them over the noodles on a dish, and you're ready to go. Very easy and wonderful dish to make from Thailand. <laughs> Fish, fish, fish sauce, water, sugar, lime juice, and a little bit of soy sauce just to give it a kick. And then I'll be adding um, some of the other herbs and um, vegetables that I have. Here you can see that I've already minced them. Um, the ginger, the chili, uh, yeah, the chilies, and the shallot. Okay, and it appears that our um, coconut soup is done with the tofu, and this is what it looks like. And if you were here, you could smell all of the ingredients that make up um, this delicious dish. And actually what's neat about the Thai is that they're able to combine so many different flavors into a dish, and it just tastes and smells um, wonderful, and it almost makes this harmonious aroma and taste in your mouth um, when you walk into the restaurants or homes. Um, so that's actually what we're smelling here. So once this was returned back to a boil, which it was, and it's nicely heated, everything smells great and it's been thoroughly cooked, we want to take our rice noodles that we had set aside um, and then we just pour right over the noodles. And that's a nice dish, and what I've paired it with is this Thai Delight tea, and it, and it says sweet on there. And what's nice about Thai tea is it actually is a little bit sweeter than normal tea, so that um, they don't need to add additional sweeteners or anything like that. And also we have a fortune cookie just for good luck. Thank you for joining me for my Thai cuisine dish. And I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Take care. Thank you.
And now for the taste test of the Kwa Tiao Tam Ka Gai, or the rice noodle with coconut soup. <laughs> Paige and Amina, what do you think? Very like good. It. Yeah. Very nice. I love the spices. <laughs> Hello. Sawadikrap. How are you? Sabai di ru. I'm sorry, or excuse me. Katot. Where are you going? Kuncha by nai. Thank you very much. Kap kun mak.